YouTube, what's going on? Streamers Playbook here, and I'm here to make your streams come true. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to edit your panels on Twitch. Now, panels are cool because you could link out to things like maybe you have a YouTube channel or a Twitter or Instagram, things like that. You could also put your rules in there or even some affiliate offers. You could add a bunch of stuff in your panels. I'm gonna show you how to do that on Twitch. Let's hop into this. All right, so we're here on my Twitch channel, on my homepage. What you wanna do is go ahead and click on your About Me here and then scroll down and you're gonna see these are my panels, right? And like I said, look, if I click here where it says own, it'll take me to own.tv. If I click on where it says YouTube, it'll take you to my YouTube channel, different things like that, okay? So what you wanna do though, if you wanna edit your panels, is go ahead and click this little tab, edit panels. And you're gonna scroll down, you see how my panels look different, all right? So if I already have a panel and I wanna change it, I just click into it, it could change the description, the link, if you add an image, add a title, things like that. And when you're done, you would just click submit. But if I want to add a new panel, scroll to the bottom where there's this plus sign and then go ahead where it says add text or image panel or you can add an extension panel. Now you could add up to three extension panels. And for example, like you see this Streamlabs leaderboard where it shows you like my top people who give bits or gifted subs, things like that. Those are, that's what that would do. And so those are different. If you have an extension that links to that, that's where you would use that. But in this case, I'm just gonna do our own custom panel. So go ahead and click this one, add a text or image panel. Now, as you can see up here, you'd have the title, you could add an image, what the image links to, and then a description. Now, what I recommend is having an image. I use own.tv for like my transitions overlays. I bought like a package, it was like 40 bucks. And see how I have like these cool little uh, like, like panels here, where it's, and you, you probably saw it earlier here. Let me go ahead and show you real quick. But see how it's like, how it looks kind of cool, right, fancy? That's what it gets. So it's, it was a cool little package I got. I recommend doing that or you can make your own. Now you do that, you would add it, your image there and it has to be a certain size, but you add it there. And then you could add like what the image links to. So for example, I'm just gonna mess around with this one, but you can link out to your Instagram, to your Twitter, like all those things I said earlier. So when people click on that image, it'll take them there. You would add that there and then you could add a description like, oh, this is my da 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 da, whatever. Okay, once you have all that, go ahead and click and I'm gonna give this one a title. Okay, let's call it hi. Go ahead and click submit, okay, and that's it. Now if I go ahead and turn this off, you'll see here's my title, it says hi, this is da 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 da, okay? But it doesn't link in, to anything. Now if you want it to link to something, let me go ahead and show you how you would do that. So see how like own.tv, as you saw, there's like a link in my description, right? And what you can also do is whatever you want, whatever word you want to, to be like a link, a clickable link, put brackets around it. Like you can see me, own.tv is my, clickable link or my clickable words and then uh, over here in parentheses you would just put the link so i have here like da 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 all that crazy stuff right so brackets then right after parentheses and then put that link inside those parentheses and then it'll look like that right there right okay now if you want to remove a panel you would do the same thing you would just go ahead and click the edit panels go down to uh, let's delete the one we just did you would just click remove it wants you to confirm remove and then we'll go up and look and you're gonna see that panel is no longer there. Now patterns are cool, it just kinda like brands your, your Twitch channel a little bit more. Personally, I think you should use them. It, even if you don't put like crazy images, just link out to your different socials. Remember, it's all about building like that web, right? So they come to your channel, then they follow you on Instagram, they follow you here, there, and everywhere. I recommend it. If you have any questions, throw them in the comments. Like if it was helpful. And remember, I'm coming out with streaming tips Monday through Friday to help you to stream. So if you're into streaming, hit the sub button. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.